So, if you guys have been keeping up with the tournament, man, we are in the semifinals here in round four. That is right, the semis. If we go on ahead and win this game, we will go on ahead and uh, play in the finals. Now, um, playing up against, well, actually, everybody that I've gone so far haven't really, uh, you know, hurt besides Zeddy, because, you know, Zeddy's just a monster. But outside of him, uh, like, we're going up against uh, Blocky. Haven't heard of him, but I do know that he has, now I know, a very, very, very tough to stop offense that uh, was just devastating, as you guys will see. So, starting off in the run, trying to run to the right right there. Don't get too much of anything. Then we cut it back to the left next play. Plenty of running room. Cut it back all the way outside. Double juke inside. And then we get to plus territory right here. So, uh, right here. Another run, hey! Don't be, don't be shy, Nelson. If he's giving you all the running room in the world, oh, you better believe we want it, baby. We want it every single yard. So first and ten, just to keep him honest, a little quick drag route right there. Let him know, you know, we we pass every now and then. Not really. I don't like to, but if you make me, I will. But I'm not wanting to. Don't make me, please. So we're up seven zero. It didn't take me long that to to see that he runs verticals every play, like every 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 play. And uh, he, he's he got dots, man. He's made a scheme out of it, and it's, it's tough right here. He just throws out of bounds. And then I didn't realize that he started doing the motion turbo um, right there, the wheel route, and he ends up snagging it, and I believe that was Bailey. So you look to the left, and that's it right there. Uh, he motions the guy out. If you want to rewind it and slowly take a look at how he just flies past Norman, it's where he'll motion him out and hike it before he gets set. And they get like this uh, speed boost that was around um, last year in Madden, actually last few, but uh, never really. At that point, I haven't seen it yet. I still have no idea. I'm just thinking Norman is slow as hell because Norman gets beat over the top all the damn time. And uh, he just flat out just dusted me. Third and long right here. We're looking, we're looking, we're looking, and we just get the end route. We don't pick up the first down, but we do right there. With the QB sneak, winding time down because he does get ball at halftime. So, uh, got to try and give him as little time as possible to go on ahead and make a drive. So, right there, he calls time out, you know, obviously wants some time. And he's calling, you know, the Blitz's uh, cover three bluff. Um, I think it's like strike two, something like that. I'm not sure what it's called. But um, pretty much there's not too many Blitzes out so far. But the most popular ones... As again, he just completely destroys us over there on the left side. Uh, if you've played this game quite a bit this year, you know that there's there's a, a handful of blitzes that, that people are, are running, and he happens to know them. So now I'm definitely a little worried about passing the ball because he's got he's got them screamers, and you know that's not something I really want to be able to face. So right here, just... Trying to take it into the half right here, but we actually get great, great running uh, room right there. So now we got to call a timeout because now we can actually score. I was just going to run the ball and then take it into half because it was third and forever. Chuck it up one-on-one -on -one with Gronk, and unfortunately, we don't come down with it. Trying to desperately score here. So we end up hitting Gronk over there on the left side wide open. Call a timeout. That right there was our last timeout. Try to see if maybe I could get some good blocking to get maybe one more glitchy run, but unfortunately, no. So we're just going to chuck it up here one-on-one, -on -one and Gronk does come down with it for us, and we end up scoring, leaving only 12 seconds remaining. So that right there was big, and we end up tying the game. So uh, he's going to run the ball here, and then we're just going to go on ahead and head on into the half. So 14-14, he's got ball, and again, I I'm still not knowing, uh, you know, what he's doing, you know, to me. Now, uh... I'll go on ahead and, like, when I throw my, my Madden tournaments and things like that, I'll let people run nanos and A-gaps and B-gaps and stuff like that because everything has a counter to it. You know, uh, there's a way to stop every, you know, blitz in the game. Like, last year, certain blitzes, you just had to go under center. The A-gap wouldn't come in. You just had to slide this way. The A-gap or B-gap wouldn't come in. You had to block a running back or, you know, there was different variations, but every blitz was stoppable. So uh, I went ahead and let the chess match happen. You know, if you knew he was running this B gap like uh, Mike Scrape, then you know calling a play action will stop it. But to this thing, which I've, you know, I didn't literally find out until you'll see a little later on in the game, I use it 
because I'm still wondering why the hell my corners are getting dusted like that. So I end up using it knowing he was going to go to that streak. So, all right, let me use it. It's coming up a little later. And he just flew past me. Then it clicked. Oh, okay. Now I see what's going on here. There's, there's no counter to this. You know, like there's nothing you can do to stop him from getting that animation, that speed boost, that turbo. There's like, there's nothing you can do. And it's glitchy. It's, as you can see, it's, it's glitchy. He was killing me with it. Uh, we go deep over the middle, and unfortunately, we drop the pass. Now, down 14, I need to score, and I need to score in a hurry. So, now is the time to really get the passing offense out and see if we can go ahead and, uh, you know, move the ball. And, again, he's sending heat. So, uh, trying my best to, uh, you know, stay protected in the pocket as well as trying to find somebody open because, believe me, this man is not giving me much time. <laughs> so, on third and 15 right here. We end up going over the middle, and we just squeezed that in. So down seven, like okay, let's let's get a stop. Okay, he's he's scored off of streaks. Like we gotta stop him, you know. Eventually, like we just can't streak, streak, streak. Like can we get one stop though? Like can we force something wrong here? So uh, here he goes inside the pot, goes over to the right side, and that was just a beautiful dot. Um, right there, you see, I'm I'm using the corner, and I just couldn't keep up with him. That's when I noticed what he was doing. And uh, that's when I realized that uh, I was it's unbumpable. So even though I'm pressing, when he motions out, he's not going to get pressed. And uh, it was definitely difficult to stop. Now, I've seen it a few times watching a few streams, but I've never actually gone against it. And it's it's it was something else. It, I was about to freaking quick sell Norman. Like, yo, what is up with this guy? He got burnt for like five streaks. <laughs> But nonetheless, we're still in it. You know, we're down two. We have all of our timeouts. We just need to go on ahead, score, and then hopefully get a stop. See if we can somehow stop his offense because, as you can see, he's just flooding me, and I can't do a damn thing about it. Trying my best to get a stop, and so far, I failed. So we're in field goal range. Well, we, that doesn't matter, but we're in the red zone right here, and we need a touchdown. If not, game is over. And uh, third down right here, try to sneak in a run, but I trip on who knows what. No idea. Fourth down. Got to go for it. And I end up getting block shared immediately. And we end up losing. So, big shout out to my opponent, man. His offense dusted me. Couldn't stop it whatsoever. Uh, and um, we end up losing one game before the finals. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. And he actually ended up winning the tournament. So, shout out to Blocky for winning the entire thing. It's your boy, GS. We'll see you guys next video. Peace.